I'm Qoid, and this is episode one of my Electrical Age Minecraft mod tutorial. Um, so this mod is called the Electrical Age, and um, it pretty much adds to best describe it is a, an attempt at a realistic simulation of electricity in Minecraft, and it does a pretty good job. Um, it has its issues, such as with the um, lighting updating. Uh, it adds a whole bunch of like cool different lights with all nice effects and stuff like that. Except, and they do have an issue with updating their light for like. Let's see here, that's the torch there. But if we come back into here, uh, you know what? I'll I'll have a better explanate um show. I'll show that the light not updating properly later because. Actually, you know what? I know exactly what's going on here. I'm just just ignore what I'm doing now. Nothing wrong here. There we go. See, all the lights are back on, but nothing's updating. So you just kind of got to take it. You either have to wait or just take like another light source, like a torch or something. Just kind of fill around with it. All the lights should be back to normal now. So yeah, there. The um, lights do have that. They kind of. Their lighting doesn't update properly, but never mind that. So, um, the creative menu for the mod just kind of looks like this. It's got a bunch of stuff. You can see it's got lights. It's got battery chargers, wires, signal, signal cable diodes, relays, switches, all sorts of electrical gadgets and stuff like that. Um, like a large rheostat, um, stone heat furnace, all sorts of cool stuff. High power transmitter antenna, like experimental transporter, 800 volt de defense turret that, that somewhat resembles a portal turret. So this mod has a lot to offer. But it also has the issue that it is for 1.710, and the mod creator is no longer working on it. So it is very, very likely not to be updated anymore. Then that includes its content and to newer Minecraft versions. So kind of disappointing, but I guess yeah, you ha we have to deal with it. But so on to the mod. Um, onto kind of the world gen part of it, so it has four different ores it adds, um, and as far from those, it, um, I don't really think it adds any more than those couple things. Um, so first ore is copper ore, so we can see it kind of looks like this, copper. Then it also adds lead ore, which it's kind of like the copper ore, except it's got kind of white instead of orangey. Then you got the tungsten ore, which is kind of a brown instead of the white or orange. Then we have cinnabar, which is um red instead of the uh, that. Um, these ores, copper is not is fairly easy to find. Lead is a um slightly rare. Tungsten is rare and Cinnabar is pretty rare. It's not that rare, but it's decently rare. Um, but as rare, about as rare as a, um gold. So three of these can be smelted. Everything except the cinnabar ore. C cinnabar ore cannot be smelted. It must go through special refining processes, which require electricity and other machines, which I will get on into a later episode of this. But right now I'm just talking about these ores. So the copper ore, of course, can be smelted into copper copper ingots. That's one to one. The lead ore can be smelted into a lead ingot. And the tungsten ore can be sn smelted into a tungsten ingot. So those are the ingots. Um, nothing else really to it. So those were the ores. Now if we come up here. I don't even know why I decided to do that. I was building the staircase and I felt bored so I'm like you know what I'm gonna make gravel stairs okay so you can see I have quite a bit laid out here and I have quite a bit more planned 
Um, but that is missing something. I'm just going to put that back. Is this still... Um, the crafting recipe isn't there. The other crafting recipes are there. Why is that one not there? You know what? Then I shall craft it. Did I forget how to craft it? It seems so. How do I craft this? Oh. I missed a crafting recipe. Hmm, first time. Um, okay, so another kind of not really world gen related, but resource related. So this mod has rubber in it. Um, and many other mods have rubber, but the way you collect it is kind of the same as Industrial Craft 2, where it requires trees. Except this one, you don't need rubber cheese. You need any tree. You need this tree resin collector. Um, and so pretty much you put it on a tree. What do I have in here? Just saplings. Um, so you stick it on a tree, and it'll start filling up with tree sap. And by right clicking on it, it says tree resin and pot, and it slowly increases. And then when it's full, right clicking on it will give you some, will give you two tree resin. Um, but you could put as many on a tree as you want. So as far as the game cares, you can literally have a whole forest of trees exactly like this, and you can just run around and f just feel the tree resin as it just, you get a lot of it, 32 from that one tree then what you want to do with this tree resin is you want to come over to a furnace and you just want to smelt it one tree resin is two rubber so that whole tree gave us a stack of rubber and that rubber could be used for many things throughout the mod um it can also be used for things in other mods um so it can be used in tech guns uh, what else so everything from like the mine fact from like mine factory tech guns um, if, it, if it's in a mod and it requires rubber, most likely this rubber will work as a substitute for that mod's rubber, because in some mods getting the rubber is quite hard, but in this one, it's fairly easy, you just have to smelt some tree sap. Okay, so, and this little brown looking square here is copper cable, and this is just crafted using three copper ingots, and that gives you six copper cable. And what you want to do is you want to combine this with your rubber, the copper cable, and the rubber to give you one low voltage cable and it says holding shift um, tells you some more stuff so the voltage is fit it's safe safe um, usage is 50 volts tw up to 20 amps of current and a thousand watts of power so a kilowatt and its resistance is 0 0.025 ohms so yes and but if you want to craft more of it you can you don't have to make copper cable you can just put uh, three copper ingots and six and six rubber and that gives you six low voltage cables so that costs the same as um, doing that SP gives you six instead of one and this one gives you one but they cost the same in total and then the cable looks like this and you can place it around it connects you can do whatever you want with it but you're probably going to want to use it to carry electricity as that's what it's meant for ignore the hole um, yep so this mod not only having wires it has um, these sockets you can craft for lights um, I'll get on to how to craft light bulbs and how to use the sockets but I'll show you how to craft them now so this is the robust lamp socket it takes two glass panes and one iron ingot that gives you three robust lamp sockets. This is the flat lamp socket. It's, well, flat. And of course, these can all be placed on ceilings except a s select few, such as the street light. Street light can be placed on the ground like that, and that's it. Um, but the flat lamp socket is two iron ingots and one glass pane. Uh, this is the simple lamp socket. It is three glass panes and one iron ingot, and that gives you three of them. Um, why, why am I just missing 
Okay. I seem to be just missing some recipes here, uh, but I can fix that. So there we go. But so this one is the fluorescent lamp socket. Um, it's it's pretty simple. Uh, it takes three and three iron ingots and that's it you get three of them uh, the street light this take this takes two iron ingots one glass pane and you get one of them uh, this is the lamp socket a yes the quality name um, and it takes three glass panes and one iron ingot and this is lamp socket B projector another quality name and this is like this except inverted well inverted in a way it takes three iron ingots and one glass pane and here's what they all kind of look like the tech 3d textures are all nice okay so come over here like first um you have your lamp and what are you going to do with your lamp if you can't put a light bulb in it so this is how you craft light bulbs so these are carbon incandescent light bulbs, 50 volt carbon incandescent light bulbs. Uh, these are the cheapest. It just requires three glass panes, one coal, and one copper cable. Uh, they have an alternate recipe where you can replace the copper with charcoal. Now, this is also a recipe for a 50 volt carbon incandescent light bulb, which but it requires a low voltage cable instead of the um, the just copper cable and other than that, it's the same recipe. Again, it also has the alternate recipe where you can replace the coal with the charcoal. And they may look the same. They may have the same. They may have the same thing almost, except this is a small one and this is a normal one. Um, and the difference is that this one uses 15 watts and this one uses 25 watts. But this one only has this one has a range of 11 blocks and this one has a range of 13 blocks and their resistance is also different as you can see there um, you can play around with these if you download the mod download to the mod will be in the description of the video um, this is a small 50 volt incandescent light bulb um, this is the normal one so again it the same thing as this one except instead of a car instead of a um, coal you want to replace that with a tungsten ingot and again for the small one it's the copper cable for the normal one, it's the low voltage cable. Now this is special. This is the economic light bulb, 50 volt. And again, has the small and the normal one. Um, small one, copper cable. This one, low voltage cable. And instead of the tungsten or, co and instead of the tungsten or coal, you're gonna wanna glow some dust. So if you have access to the nether, um, that's probably gonna be good. And for all of them, you get four per each recipe then there's a special bulb here this is the 50 volt farming lamp and this does something special as you can probably guess it speeds up the growth of crops um, but its recipe is kind of expensive uh, five ga glass panes one low voltage cable three tungsten ingot ingots and that only gives you two farming lamps but they can be used to speed up the growth of crops I believe I may be completely wrong but it would make sense if they did that so how to use these lamps so where do I have that it was down here I actually have more to do so to use these lamps there's a couple things you're going to want this one's optional but this one's required so is this one so this here is the ground cable and it requires um, five copper cables and put them in kind of the upside down t-shape not a normal t-shape upside down t-shape and that's going to give you the ground cable and they just kind of do this they don't con they do connect but they have the ground symbol on it um so for the low voltage switch it requires two copper cable one rubber and two low voltage cables and that gives you one low voltage switch and it looks like this you can flick it on and off so nice 3d texture this mod does have good textures and stuff like that to an extent 
some of them are weird, but that's just because they're unfinished. Um, but this, this is the single-use battery. Um, you can, at this point, uh, you can craft the other types of battery, but they need to be charged, and we don't have a way to actually generate power yet. That's going to be in the next episode. Um, but how to craft the single-use battery, what's special about it is that it's really cheap, and um, it starts fully charged, except you can't charge it. Um, crafting recipe, so it's very simple, just three copper and six coal. Uh, it has an alternate recipe in which you can replace the coal with charcoal. And so this is the battery, looks pretty good. It's kind of like a stack of, stack of copper and coal plates, which is how batteries were made. Uh, the early, early batteries, except instead of coal, I think, instead of um, carbon, I think they use zinc or something like that, copper and zinc, and then some sort of electrolyte, probably lemon juice or something else, or sulfuric acid, both work, but, yeah, or is it lead, or is it copper and lead, you know, I shouldn't be disgusting, this is Minecraft, not real life, why am I disgusting, discussing real life battery topics, um, never mind that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your your lamp, your low voltage switch, your battery, and a ground cable. And while you're at it, you're probably going to want to grab yourself a cable, at least one, and let's just say your 50 volt incandescent light bulb. And you can set it up something like this. You can put have any lamp socket. You know what? This one I feel like using the simple lamp socket. So I do have the setup here, and you can see when I flick the switch, it turns on. Um, let me just update the light. There you go. So you can see it turns on. It kind of has kind of a glow effect around it, and then you can turn it off. And you can see the battery. It's slowly draining. So it'll be discharged in about one hour and ten minutes. Now, so what you want to do is this you want to take a battery you want to place it down and if you look you will see the, on there's two sides of the battery a negative side and a positive side you want to put a ground cable on the negative side that that can be connected through a cable you can have multiple ground cables but think of it as the all ground cables are connected to each other so this ground cable and that ground cable are connected through the ground. Um, that does technically mean you can send power through two of them, but that's not how that works. I don't think energizing the entire earth would be a good idea, but never mind that. Um, so the single-use battery. Um, so this circuit here is grounded. This wire here is connected to ground. Uh, do not d connect two sides of battery together. I will show what that does. You know why on the back of those energizer batteries they tell you not to connect both sides together? Well, yeah, and yes, the hole. I, I can fix that up at the bottom, back of the video. So, don't do that. Don't do. Don't go like this. Just don't do that because it will blow up in your face. Wires will overheat and explode to an extent. Um, so don't connect the positive and negative to a battery directly. Put a light bulb in the way or switch. So then you, once your battery, the negative side of your battery has been connected to ground, the positive side of your battery can be connected to your lighting circuit or whatever you're, it's going to be powering. So you might want to put a switch in the way. So what you can do is have your wire then you might want to break it off to like a light or something like that. Put your switch. It doesn't matter which way it goes. It does not matter at all. And then, so you have the sort circuit has the switch has two positions, open and closed. Um, when the switch is closed, it is connected. When it's open, it's well open and not connected. Then you want to run a net, another wire, which is to your light. Um, now. Of course, it could be just as compact as that, but I'm kind of stretching out for as an example. Then you're going to want to right-click on your on your lamp socket, 
and you want to go you're going to want to put your cable here and then you're going to want to put your light bulb here then if you're powering it by a wire you're going to want it to change it to powered by cable and you can see the cable connects here then now if we turn it back to night you can see when we hit the switch the light is on and the light is connected to ground so you can see there is um, 626 milliamps running through this cable so you can see this lamp is connected to ground so the power is flowing from the battery through the switch through this wire through the light bulb and then coming back out going into the ground coming back out the ground cable coming through here and you can see the current on both are the same you can see the temperature of the low voltage cable is increasing if you have got a l if you have a lot of power going through one cable it um it may heat up too much and in which case it will blow up your entire wire then this can be turned on and off how much you feel like it so that's kind of how you use the wires like that and yep so what the things what the light said before um, with the whole lamp supply thing one second I'm just checking how long my recording has been going okay so about 20 minutes I should really have like a timer with me, but I don't. Yeah, so that's how you use the electricity. It is kind of complicated. If you play with, play around with it, you will start to understand how it works, and it will, if playing around with it will start to become enjoyable. I have spent lots of time doing that. Um, yeah, so you have here. I have my wall of lamps, and these all have lamps in them. So I'm just going to kind of show what they look like when they're on. So. So the robust lamp socket, it lights up and has this kind of glow effect around it. Um, sh with shaders, a, um, that effect becomes weird. That's why I'm not using shaders, because it just looks weird. Um, I'm showing it to you how it should be shown. So the flat lamp socket, it just kind of lights up white. Now, the simple lamp socket, you've already seen it. Again, these can all be placed on ceilings. Or if you feel like it, you can have multiple in the same spot. So yes, that does mean you can do something like this. The light is it's it's all light. You know, I really want to after this episode, I'm probably going to connect this up to power because I feel like it. But yep. So the simple lamp socket. Now here's the fluorescent lamp socket. You can see it has this nice little fluorescent tube thing in it. Um, that only appears if it has a light bulb in it, which is kind of cool. And then when you flick it on, of course, it lights up. Um, the lamp socket A, it does not actually have a texture change when you turned on, but they um, it does light up. It does make light. But yeah. So there is kind of two. I don't know how to say this. Special types of light bulb. Now, these two special light types of light bulb are the what is this? The economic light bulb and the farming lamp. So the ep economic light bulb is only special because when you turn it on, it um, does this. It kind of flickers on. It has a couple sounds it can make. It can make the kind of click sound, or it can make the kind of other sound. There, that one. So, yep, and they'll have their different, their all, their different resistances, their lifetime, their range, their power, all that stuff. Um, what I really like to use these eco light, the economic light bulbs, the eco light bulbs. I like to put them in the fluorescent lamp sockets because then when you turn it on, it um does that, and I quite like that. But the other type of light bulb is the farming lamp, and you can just kind of click it on and then it I believe it slightly speeds up the growth of nearby plants um, I have no way to prove it just kind of does I think and no I'm not going to stare at the wheat oh see look it did it growed so yeah and it looks like a storm is brewing um, yeah and the last type of special thing it's not a light bulb it is the lamp socket B so this thing is special because it's a projector light bulb 
uh, you can choose the kind of well, any any eyes on I should turn that off um, you can choose kind of the orientation so um, you can see it's there uh, I'm going to turn it to midnight so you can see it's kind of there get rid of its torch so you can see it's there now if I change it to here where is it now all the way over here I'm just going to grab a torch see it's all, all the way over there and then we can do it the opposite way and then it's right here so that's that it kind of projects outward so it has a couple different uses because it projects the light a decent distance away um, you could if you could have these on a ceiling, um, a really tall ceiling, you'd be able to project kind of down. But yeah, so that's that. Um, I kind of covered the basics of lighting. There's one more thing. Um, if you go into your control menu, oh, and the washing machine has just decided to beep. Nice. Um, if you come into your control tools menu here, go down, you can see there's a thing for electrical age. Um, this mod does have a compatibility with the in-game wiki mod so you can if you do have that installed you can open the wiki um, but wrench here so I return this is just the number pad key the number pad enter um, but if by holding down that key and clicking on any type of let's say you wanted to cover all oh, that washing machine isn't going to stop beeping is it and I'm not getting up to stop it so whatever um, so you hold down the enter key or whatever you've set it set it to and right click with it block on any electrical age thing now it's covered in that and this works for any block including switches wires s the electrical source the electrical source is a creative mode thing where you can choose the amount of power just ignore the washing machine beeping um, but yeah so like you can cover lamp socks in this you can hide wires going through walls yep so really useful um, the only problem I have with it is if you try and use a grass block at a um, it's white it's white grass so having a wire coming from a wall down into the ground using grass not your best choice because it'll look weird and super obvious and it just it just does the opposite of the goal it's trying to accomplish. So I think I've covered uh, everything in this episode. All of the kind of low voltage lighting and the simple battery and stuff like that. So that's this. Um, that's that for this episode. Um, this is the end of this episode. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode and watched the very end. Hopefully you watch the next episode where I'll talk about generating power and perhaps even talk about charging batteries and the lamp supply and that stuff um so hopefully you do watch the next episode and thank you for watching and if you want to see more mod tutorials like this um subscribe to my channel